It's gotta be Sarah C, and it's time for another makeup tutorial. I'm a big Star Wars fan, so in honor of Episode 7 premiering this week, I decided to transform myself into one of my favorite villains from the saga, Darth Maul. If you'd like to learn how to recreate this look, keep on watching. After I've applied a bald cap and blocked out my eyebrows so I look pretty much completely like a toe, I map out his skin patterns with a nude lip liner. If you'd like to learn how to apply a bald cap, check out my strongman tutorial where I demo the whole process. I'll put a link to that video in the description. Darth Maul's tattoos were designed as warrior markings, and they have a symmetrical layout, but the exact patterning is slightly different on each side. Using a reference photo, I fill in all the red areas with water-activated body paint. When I body paint, I prefer to use actual paint brushes rather than makeup brushes since they don't absorb the pigment like makeup brushes do, so they'll distribute the paint more evenly. Time for some Star Wars fun facts. The Phantom Menace was the first movie to show every time a lightsaber is activated and deactivated. In the original trilogy, this mostly had to occur off screen because they would physically switch from a lightsaber hilt to a lightsaber hilt with the blade inserted, which would have led to an awkward jump cut. Next, I apply the horns I made with liquid latex and tissue paper using prosate adhesive. I fill in the rest of the areas with black water-activated body paint. Primarily because the contacts Ray Park wore made it difficult to blink, Darth Maul only blinks once in the entire movie, when he's stabbed by Obi-Wan Kenobi. I opt out of contacts because FDA-approved ones get pretty pricey and it's very dangerous to use ones that aren't FDA-approved. It's estimated that 2.2 million full-time employees skipped work to attend the film, resulting in $293 million loss in productivity. So many workers announced plans to skip work to watch the movie that many companies shut down on opening day. For the areas with the horns, I remove them so I can fill in the black without getting any on the horns. Once the paint is dry, I glue my horns back on. Last, I apply nicotine and red tooth effects to my teeth. Thank you so much for watching my Darth Maul tutorial. All of the products used will be listed in the description below. If there's any looks you'd like to see me create, let me know in the comments. If you use any of my tutorials, be sure to tag me on social media. I'd love to see your recreations. To see more of my work, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Links in the description, and I will see you next time.